In this lesson, we are going to solve this question I have on the screen. The question says that a vacuum gauge connected to a chamber reads 5.8 psi at a location where the atmospheric pressure is 14.5 psi. Determine the absolute pressure in the chamber. So you have to determine the absolute pressure in the chamber giving the the gauge pressure and then the atmospheric pressure so let's look at how you are going to answer this question so now you are going to look at the data that you have been given okay so we have given data given data okay so let's look at the information that we've been given he said a vacuum gauge connected to a chamber reads 5.8 pounds per square inch. Okay, so that tells us the, the vacuum pressure. Okay, so you are going to have the vacuum pressure to be equal to 5.8 psi. And also, we are given the atmospheric pressure. Okay, so that would be PATM we go to 14.5 pounds per square inch okay so these are the values that we've been given and then we asked to find the absolute pressure okay so let's look at how you are going to find the absolute pressure okay so the relation between absolute pressure atmospheric pressure and then vacuum pressure is given us this is not really clear okay so that's giving us absolute pressure because the sum of what atmospheric pressure and then gauge pressure okay so this is the relation between Absolute pressure, atmospheric pressure, and then gauge pressure. Okay, but when we look at gauge pressure here, when we look at gauge pressure, we have two types of gauge pressure. We have the positive gauge pressure and then the negative gauge pressure. Positive gauge pressure and then the negative gauge pressure. The negative gauge pressure is the same as the vacuum pressure. The same as the vacuum pressure. So in that case, this formula here becomes absolute pressure because atmospheric pressure plus negative gauge pressure. So that was minus PVAC. Okay, so that will be the formula after we using what negative gauge pressure okay because you know we have positive gauge pressure and then negative gauge pressure and then now we know that the negative gauge pressure in this much what the vacuum pressure so this will be our formula now okay this will be our formula and the only difference is the negative gauge pressure there which is this much what vacuum pressure now let's go ahead and then answer this question Okay, so now we know our formula. So let's look at the data that we have been given and then see if we can find the absolute pressure. So we know that the absolute pressure is now equal to what? The atmospheric pressure plus what the negative gauge pressure, which is this much what the vacuum pressure. So in that case, we are going to have PABS to be equal to PATM minus what? P back. Right. And then we know this value here and then we know this value here so all we have to do is to do substitution to find our absolute pressure so in that case we are going to have the atmospheric pressure is given to be 14.5 psi 
okay then minus the vacuum pressure so that was 5.8 psi so let's simplify this and see what we get so 14.5 minus 5.8 that give me a value of 8.7 pounds per square inch so that'll be the value for absolute pressure okay in that chamber so this how to go about this kind of question okay so you have to know that the relation between absolute pressure atmospheric pressure and then gauge pressure is what we have here by looking at gauge pressure we have the positive gauge pressure and then the negative gauge pressure and then the negative gauge pressure is the same as what the vacuum pressure okay so after knowing this you just have to do your substitution here you have to do your substitution here to get your answer so let's try our hands on another example okay, so let's look at this question also the question says that a pressure gauge measures a reading of 31 pounds per square inch if the atmospheric pressure is given to be 14.2 psi calculate the absolute pressure so you have to calculate for the absolute pressure okay so let's look at how you are going to do this so in this question we've been given the the gauge reading and then the atmospheric pressure reading so you have p gauge to be equal to 31 psi and then you know the atmospheric pressure to be equal to 14.2 psi okay and previously when we learned that the relation between absolute pressure atmospheric pressure and gauge pressure is giving us p abs equals atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure okay so this is the relation between them so we've been given the atmospheric pressure and the gauge pressure so we can find the absolute pressure so that would be 14.2 psi okay plus 31 psi okay so when we add these two values we're going to have 45.2 pounds per square inch so this will be the answer to this question